Whee! We discussing another retro one. An oldie but a goodie. What is really good, fam? Welcome back to Familia Kicks HQ, where we go ahead and discuss all types of sneakers, all types of shoes. We are a small channel, but we are expanding. And guys, I appreciate you for taking the opportunity to just indulge yourself with this channel. Guys, if you haven't already, be a part of the Familia. Hit that sub button and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload so that you can be a part of the viewing crew. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know where you're from. Let me know your favorite sneaker, anything, anything at all. It doesn't have to deal with sneakers. It can be about anything at all. Just leave me a comment. Let me know. I love to get the opportunity to know every single one of y'all. So thank you guys once again for tuning in. And today, today we're discussing, in my opinion, my most comfortable, Retro one, and that is the North Carolina to Chicago Retro One, or the UNC to Shy, or the NC to Shy, whatever you want to call it, it is what it is. This beautiful sneaker came out in February of 2020, and this is an amazing, an amazing sneaker. This sneaker, the quality, when, listen, I hold every other retro one to the quality of this sneaker. It may be unfair, but I do. Um, I had the core purples, I compared them to this. I, I just, it's not that this tumbled soft leather is the only way to rock a retro one, right? But with retro ones, you do get a lot of variety in fits. I am a true to size nine and a half. It's, it's also, it's also needed to be said, that this is a woman's retro one. So I copped this as size 11, and guys, this, this specific sneaker, by far, the most comfortable retro one I've ever rocked. Um, every retro one is sort of its own thing, and in my personal experience, they all kind of fit differently. Like, they just, they just fit weird. I had rocked several different retro ones, and I just prefer the soft tumbled leather. Why I got wider feet. So obviously it's just gonna be more comfortable. Um, this specific colorway is just an amazing deal to just match up with any type of fit you're gonna rock. I mean, you can be casual, you can still rock these colors. It has the, the blue, that UNC blue in the back and the heel. It has that beautiful Chicago red toe box. You have that black mid upper with the blue swoosh. Um, you know, you have you have just an amazing silhouette here with the red outsole here and the white midsole here. So it's a lot of just classic colors all in one and it all matches. If you're gonna rock blue jeans, it's gonna match. If you're gonna rock black jeans, it's gonna match, right? So a lot of these main colors is just gonna go ahead and vibe with this specific sneaker. And I was just thinking randomly because I rocked this sneaker so much, I've probably worn it over 100 times already since I got it. So in the last year, well over 100 times I've rocked this and it's just been nonstop comfort. From the day I put my foot in it till today, it's just super comfortable. And I rocked the sneaker pretty heavily and it just, it just looks good still. Like the, it's soft tumbled leather, but it just looks good. It's not like scuffed up. I mean, it's got some character to it, but it looks nice. The creasing is not crazy on it. It's just enough to, you know, to know that it's worn, but not enough to make it look like it's just basura. So guys, I just wanted to go ahead and share that thought with you. As far as retro ones, I hold all retro ones to the standard of the way this feels on foot and the way this looks and the quality of it. I have no glue marks on this sneaker at all. I mean, the quality on this was just fire. And so I've seen a lot of retro ones. Even I got some Royal Toes. I uh, had the, the purple, the court purples. I have just a bunch of them and none of them on quality wise, like I just prefer these all day, every day. Um, so I think the pine greens might be up to par with this quality. I've actually haven't seen a pair of pine greens in person. So I'm just strictly going off of reviews and everything, but they look super tumbled, that pebbled leather. Um, so they might be as comfortable as these, I don't know, but what retro one do you prefer to rock every day? Not like your most revered one, but the one that you prefer to rock every day, the most comfortable retro one in your opinion, what is it? Let me know down below, cause I'm honestly interested in knowing because I'd love 
to cop some more retro ones that fit super comfy. Because right now, the ones that I got, none of them, none of them at all is touching the North Carolina Chicago retro one. Just saying. So guys, that is just my random thought of the day. I wanted to share that. You know, these videos, I'm just spewing them out, man. I'm thinking of stuff and I just want to be able to share my thoughts with y'all. I know that throughout the day, we just get we just get bombarded with random ideas and random thoughts. And I just want to go ahead and be able to discuss these, these, uh, these things that I'm thinking, these things that I'm thinking over here with you guys. So anyway, I appreciate y'all once again. Thank you so much for showing me love, man. It's been it's been nothing but love since I started, and uh, we're gonna continue to grind. We grinding. We got a lot of videos lined up. I'm working. I'm doing what I gotta do. Please show me some love down below. Share, like, subscribe, notification bell, comment. My family, mi familia, my people, mi gente. Up until the next video. Hasta la próxima. Peace.